But anyways, I am just chilling on the couch. This is what's going on. Ew. My skin's just like flaking onto my sweatshirt. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing something really exciting. I just woke up. I don't have any makeup on. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of me going to get my very first V peel. It's like a chemical peel. It's specifically for melasma and hyperpigmentation. So if you guys have been following me for a little while now, you know that I've made a couple different videos about um, my sunspots and dark spots. You can see them a little bit <clears throat> on my cheeks right now. Just for me, really living in Hawaii and always being in tropical places, um, I have quite a bit of skin damage. So I'm gonna go get that peel and show you guys what it's like, tell you all about it. And then I'm also going to be doing a follow-up. So this peel is really interesting because it, t uh, after today, my skin's going to slowly be like peeling off for the next um, like six days. So I'm gonna show you like a day by day kind of what's happening, what my skin looks like, and then of course a before and after um, to let you know if I recommend it, things like that. Also, if you're looking in the background, our bed is still not here. Um, it's being delivered later this week. So I'll have to do a full apartment tour once our bed gets here, but today is all about skincare. I'm really excited and about this V peel, which I will give you guys a little bit more detail about it, but this one is really interesting because a lot of the skin treatments out there for hyperpigmentation and melasma and things like that are not for people that have any sort of ethnicity. So like if you're Hispanic or um, Asian or have any sort of ethnicity in your background, it can actually make your hyperpigmentation worse. And I am Hispanic, so I've had to do some research about like IPL lasers are something you aren't actually supposed to do because it can bring more pigmentation to the surface. Um, so this V peel is really interesting because it's really suitable for any skin type. Um, it helps with acne, melasma, dark spots, um, and any even if you have sensitive skin or acne, you can do it too. So here we go. I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes. So I just got back from doing the peel that I did and I went to West Side Aesthetics. So I will link to them right here if you guys want to check them out. Um, but I felt a little, I always feel a little weird pulling out my camera when I'm getting a treatment done. So I didn't actually film the exact process, but I'll tell you all about it and what happened and the little kit that I got home um, to take care of my skin post peel. So right now you can see that my skin is pretty like orange looking. So the whole process of what they do, it took only like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, but you basically go in, they talk to you about, um, you know, to make sure that you know not to be in the sun, make sure you know not to be like scrubbing off your skin once it starts to peel off. Because I think I mentioned this before, but this peel like is pretty intense and your skin, the, the old layers of skin will actually like literally flake off. So you can actually prevent, or you can actually create more scarring and hyperpigmentation if you peel them off or if you mess with them. So you're not supposed to touch your face and you're not supposed to go in the sun. Um, but basically when you get there, they just put like a layer of this orange stuff on your skin and um, it stings a little bit, but honestly for me, it didn't hurt like at all. It was just very, very minor stinging. And then um, in a couple hours, I'm going to wash this off gently with some of this, um, like a little cleansing cloth that they gave me. And then I have some lotion to put on as well as SPF 50 for the next like week because my skin's gonna be really sensitive and I'm not supposed to be in the sun or sweat very much. So um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys the update. My skin's looking real nice right now. <laughs> um, give you guys an update and then I will probably check in. I don't think I'll probably check in again today, but I'm gonna check in every day for the next like six or so days to show you what my skin looks like. Hey guys, so it is day two. It's the morning after um, I had my peel yesterday and skin is still looking a little bit red, but you guys, last night I could not sleep because my skin started itching so bad. It was like the most intense itching I've ever experienced on my face. And I was trying so hard not to scratch because of course then I started Googling things and it was like, don't, don't itch your face if it starts itching because then um, the, the scarring can get worse and things like that. So, oh my God, it was very painful. Um, but, and I also have the 
blinds closed behind me because I'm supposed to be avoiding the sun today. So basically I'm gonna be living like a vampire the next couple days, um, but I'll keep you updated. My skin actually feels a little bit better now because I put some of the post protectant cream on it, which has um, some sort of like anti-itch medication in it, but yeah, feeling okay. Skin's a little bit red, but I'll keep you posted. <laughs> hey, say hi to YouTube. Hey guys. <laughs> Okay, so it's day three since I've gotten my peel, and this morning Eric was like, what's happening to your face? So you can see, well, I look a little bit red, so I think it's a little bit red, but also I'm starting to peel. This is where I have some like acne scarring too, and the esthetician did say that it would start peeling first around my mouth because that's like what's moving the most. So starting to peel a little bit. Um, oh, by the way, we also get our bed frame today, so hopefully in the next video our bed will be off the ground. Um, but yeah, it's the itching luckily stopped, so the first morning or the first night after the peel, the itching was horrible. I actually got some Benadryl to take just in case for last night, but the, the itching seems to, to have stopped. So right now my skin just feels really tight and kind of dry. Um, and it looks like it's gonna start peeling today. So I'm not really planning to go out in public a whole lot for the next couple days. So I'll have lots of time to make video content. Yay, our bed is here. It looks so good. Everything here is from West Elm. We went to the store and this whole setup was like this and I loved it so much. So we just bought the whole thing. Um, and just prepare yourselves because I'm about to show you my flaking off chin. Here I am. So it is really flaky, looking really gross. Um, Eric left because he was so <laughs> grossed out. He keeps telling me it looks like I have a beard. I'm like, I get it, okay? But I can't pick it. It's a little bit itchy right now. They said if it gets really, like if the pieces get really long, you can actually use scissors to cut them off. Um, I haven't done that yet. I'm kind of just trying not to pick at it um, because that can make scarring and hyperpigmentation worse. But started with my chin that's what they said and then it's gonna eventually like move up my face so pretty soon i should have a real serious situation on my hands okay guys so it's day four hopefully you can hear me okay i'm walking on a treadmill in our new apartment gym which is really nice by the way there's usually never anybody in here but can we talk about the situation that's happening on my face um yeah so the peeling has moved up my face it's just really bad right now, needless to say. I'm not going to be going in public today, so I'm just kind of trying to keep myself busy <laughs> making lots of videos for you guys, but it doesn't hurt, it's just peeling. So hopefully, I think the peeling is supposed to last one more day after today, so it's Saturday, Sunday, and then hopefully by Monday, it's all better, but I will let you guys know. Uh, just laying inside it's such a beautiful day today actually we got some chairs delivered but they were the wrong ones so looks like we're gonna be standing at our island to eat until our new ones come but anyways i am just chilling on the couch this is what's going on ew my skin's are just like flaking onto my sweatshirt but anyways i had eric run to the store because i obviously can't show my face in public actually I did go down to pick up a package at the front office and the lady looked at me like, what happened to you? I'm like, don't look at me. Hopefully only a couple more days of this, but yeah, the peeling's moving like up to my forehead. Not that bad, I guess. I've seen some people that have done it where it looks a lot worse, so. And I've actually just realized, so I turned the, I pulled the blinds down in here. Um, but so it's nice and dark because I'm supposed to avoid the sun but in that living room where I was just shooting there's a lot of light coming in so I'm actually gonna put more of this SPF can you see it SPF cream all over my face to protect myself from the Sun because I guess all these old layers of skin that are peeling off is gonna um, make the skin underneath really sensitive so I have to be careful what's up you guys so it is saturday afternoon i've been actually went out and about today um, but i applied like five layers of spf 50 sunscreen and wore a hat and sunglasses <laughs> so i could stay out of the sun and kind of hide my face eric's so funny he's like 
I love how your Insta story like way up close to all of your skin peeling off in front of like thousands of people, but you don't want to like be in front of anybody in person with your skin. I'm like, good point. But when I'm talking to my phone, it doesn't actually seem like I'm talking to anybody. So who knows how many people will end up seeing this. My other Melasma video is at like 450,000 views right now. And I'm like, oh my God, if I would have known that that many people would have ended up watching it, I maybe would have like put on some extra makeup or something, but whatever. Um, so anyways, this is the situation. I'm pretty excited because it kind of looks like a lot of this skin damage is peeling off right now. Um, and my skin does look a lot better. I took some scissors this morning. Looks like some nice new skin right there. Um, I took this, some scissors this morning and cut off because it was getting really, really long, but I'm still being careful not to, not to pick at it. It actually might be gone tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see. Hi guys, I'm back post peel and I have absolutely no makeup on because I wanted to show you what the end result was like after my peel. So um, I do have a bunch of questions that I got from you guys on Instagram, so I'm gonna go through those, but I'm also just gonna tell you my initial thoughts after all of the peeling is now gone. Um, I will say, so the first day that like all of the peeling was gone, my skin looked so amazing. Eric even said to me, and he never really like notices if I have makeup on or not or anything like that. He was like, wow, it looks like when I edit your photos after I've photoshopped your skin. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is the best compliment you could ever give to me. And he didn't even like realize that he was giving me a compliment, but I was like, that's what we all want, right? To look like we've been naturally Photoshopped. So like the texture and the evenness and the smoothness of my skin was all just amazing right after. Um, and then I will say, I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Um, I know that like, if you're looking at me right now compared to what I normally look like, you're probably like, uh, I can see a lot of redness and dark spots, but this is me without any makeup on and this compared to the previous um, like pre peel what my skin looked like without makeup on. It's definitely an improvement um, So I would de definitely say that I was happy with the results. I think that it worked It did get off like a top layer of kind of like dead brown skin <laughs> that had been kind of sun damaged But the esthetician did say when I got it that sometimes it takes a couple peels to get like huge noticeable results. So if you're looking at me now and you're like, I don't see any difference, it might be because I need to do multiple peels, but I just wanted to give you a realistic um, kind of view of what to expect if you're thinking about doing it. So now I'm gonna go through some of the questions that you guys gave me on Instagram. Um, so if I didn't already mention this, the peel that I got is called the V peel and the downtime, and it's spelled like V-I. The downtime is like five to seven days. I would say I was peeling for like six days. So they say that some people only peel for like three, some people peel like up to seven. Um, so definitely if you're gonna do it and you don't want to be like going out in public with your skin peeling off, I would definitely say like, make sure you have nothing really important planned for like a week or so if you're gonna do it. Um, next question I got was, does it hurt? So actually getting the treatment done, um, it's kind of weird. They just do like three layers of it seems like they're just putting some sort of solution on your face. That didn't hurt at all, actually. Um, it, it maybe stung like a tiny bit, but I've definitely had more um, painful things like micro needling, definitely more painful. Laser, definitely more painful. This was not bad at all. Um, but that first night, so I would say like maybe 12, af 12 hours or so after I got the treatment, my skin itched so bad. I think it's been a couple days now since I made the video, so I don't know if I talked about this, but my skin was itching so bad and you're not supposed to itch it. And I was like kind of freaking out because I was like, it feels like the world's worst sunburn and like peeling off and you can't really do anything about it. But luckily the peel cream that they give you is really helpful for that. You just have to keep kind of applying it to make the itch go away. So, um, it, but that only lasted the first night and then it was done. Um, next question is, I have a quite a, I have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation. Would this make a drastic difference? Um, so I think that it did make a difference. I don't know if I would call it drastic, but I have seen some people whose whose hyperpigmentation is like a hundred times better after their first peel. I think it's more common that it takes at least a couple peels for that hyperpigmentation to go away. So I think just having a real realistic expectation going into it is really important. Um, next question: Did it reduce your pore size? 
Um, I don't really have big pores to start out with, but I would say that it definitely, like, I it, I think I noticed, like, fine lines even gotten have gotten a little bit better, pore size. Um, even anywhere where I was having, like, a little breakout or anything like that, all of that stuff improved. Next question, how much was it in California? It was $300 um, for the treatment, and I mean, that, that included everything. Um, you can also buy the treatment, like basically what I went and did at a med spa, you can buy, I think, online. But I have heard that that can be kind of dangerous because if you like leave the initial treatment on too long, it can like burn your skin. And I just wasn't willing to risk that. So I'm sure you could get it cheaper if you wanted to apply it yourself, but I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, next question was, how about sun exposure after the peel? Won't your dark spots come back? Um, that's a really good question, and I believe that they potentially would if you're going to go out in the, into the sun and like not protect yourself, but the reason that I chose this peel at this point is because the first 26 or so years of my life, I never wore sunscreen, and I went into tanning beds, and I just let my face be like in the tanning bed, and I went outside with no sunscreen on ever, never wore hats, so I have a lot of sun damage um, that is like just even though I'm really careful now, like the last three or so years, I've been really careful to always protect my skin, put sunscreen on, wear hats, stay out of the sun. I still have those underlying like damaged layers of skin. So the point of me doing it now was like, get rid of those dark spots and those layers that have been accumulating for all of those years when I was really stupid and protect myself really careful going forward. Like I'm, I'm never, because the thing is like, obviously once you get the peel, like that skin underneath is more sensitive. So you definitely want to be really careful when you go back into the sun, but I pretty much never am in direct sunlight without some sort of protection now, nowadays. So I'm not too worried about the skin underneath getting damaged because I am so careful. If you're somebody who's like hoping that you're gonna get the peel and then you can just go back out in the sun and never have dark spots again, like that's probably not gonna happen. So just FYI. Overall, all in all, hopefully I, I can do like a side by side before and after. I think I took a picture um, before to show you guys. I, I think it was worth it. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, I think I would do it again. I think this is something I would do maybe like twice a year. But I will say that I noticed quicker improvements when I did the, um, I believe it's called BBL, broadband light uh, laser on my face, um, back when I was in Colorado. I think that was more of a significant um, improvement. But since doing that, I've also heard that that laser can also be bad if you have any sort of like um, ethnicity, which I do. So it seemed to be fine on me, but I guess maybe just like do your research if you are gonna do any sort of laser to make sure it's safe for your type of skin because you definitely don't wanna like bring out more hyperpigmentation than you already have. So I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know below if you guys have any other questions or if there's another peel or laser or skin treatment that you want me to go try out because I'm basically a skin guinea pig and I will try anything for clear skin. So um, yeah, let me know. Actually, the best place to connect with me is gonna be over on Instagram. So just come send me a DM. I always respond to my DMs and I love connecting with you guys, especially about skincare stuff. So thank you for watching and I will be back soon. Bye.